is up guys welcome back and today i'm going to be showing you guys what is the first ever building model change that we have had in gta 5 and it's pretty much the statue of happiness or the statue of liberty from gta 4 slightly imported to gta 5 and you guys will see exactly what i mean here shortly by slightly imported as it really isn't the greatest of imports but it is definitely a huge advancement for modding for gta 5 and that's kind of why i'm making this video today i kind of want to talk to you guys about the advancement of modding and what this now has potential to do for gta 5 also compared to gta 4 as well so as always guys hope you do go on to enjoy today's video and let's jump straight into this so I guess I'm going to start this off by taking you guys back to GTA 4 and the modding scene around GTA 4 as well. So, uh, as many of you may or may not know, around a week and a half ago now, I did actually stream a GTA 4 mod that was known as the Iron Man mod. Now, uh, I had a bunch of you guys out on the stream. It was definitely a fun time for me. And uh, this mod is just absolutely insane. One of the, Probably one of the greatest mods ever created uh, for GTA 4 on the PC. Now, one of the great things about this mod is the huge start tower literally in the middle of Libby City. And, you know, when the first I saw this it is a completely functional start tower you can actually go inside of it you know there's armors and stuff you can switch between and it is a fully functional building redesigned as a start tower with different spawn points and stuff like that and when I saw this, I was completely mind blown. I was like, the sheer fact that modders can do this and actually place certain buildings and certain maps in GTA 5 or GTA 4, sorry, and stuff like that was absolutely mind blowing to me. And I was just sitting there thinking, you know, what if this kind of stuff could happen in GTA 5 in the future? And with this recent import and with this recent very first model change, this is a first step into that kind of direction. You know, being able to completely redesign buildings and redesign maps and then import those into the world of Grand Theft Auto is just absolutely insane i mean i've seen you know several different things happen in gta 4 i've seen assassin's creed maps being brought in you know several different maps and stuff like that and uh you know here is the very first stepping stone for gta 5 now it isn't the greatest of imports don't get me wrong guys i do know that it is very untextured and things like that and it is in a very weird place but the sheer fact that we have had a first model change is definitely a huge step and kind of like a markdown in history for what we can expect for gta 5 in the future and who knows considering this is the first one uh, there's going to be a lot of modders out there now who are going to test a few more things complete redesigns of buildings you know importing certain things and stuff like that and i literally just can't wait to see how modding advances from this i mean it's something that i wanted to show to you guys today kind of bring to your attention and let you guys know kind of like how modding has advanced so far and uh, kind of mark down history of the very first building model change so i know it's not the greatest of things there's going to be a lot of comments down below saying it's a very poor import but just bear in mind guys it is the very first one and we can definitely expect a whole lot more in the future of a gta 5 so that pretty much wraps it up for today's video if you guys did enjoy did find this helpful guys be sure to leave a like down below your support of course is always always greatly appreciated on the channel and if we can smash a thousand likes on this video that would be absolutely crazy subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you all later with a brand new video